been interested in watches since I was very little. I just don't think I knew it at the time. I started collecting watches in my mid-twenties. I started my own marketing and manufacturing business in 2005, in my late twenties. And I created Prestige Watches in 2017 with one really simple aim, and that's to spread watch happiness. I had an interest in my father's watch from a really young age and I remember hunting for it in his man drawer and finding the watch and playing around with it and studying it. I remember it felt really big and cold and heavy and I don't know why I was drawn to it, I just was. I even remember my first watch. It was a blue swatch and it was a gift from my parents. It probably cost about £10. I can picture it in my mind but uh, sadly I don't have it. But it did inspire me to buy a collectible Swatch watch recently. It's known as a jellyfish it's from the 1980s. I went through so many watches in my teens and early 20s, but I didn't think to keep them, which is a real shame. This is my first proper watch. It's an Amiga Speedmaster Reduced. As an early watch of mine from the collection, it's probably had the most wrist time of all my watches. I wouldn't sell this one. This will be the first watch I give to my son, Avi, when he's ready. And since this watch, I've kept them all. This was my mother's watch. She's no longer with us, sadly, but her watch is, and it still works, it still ticks. I feel it has her spirit within, and I think of her every time I look at this watch. This pocket watch, this is my grandfather's watch. I never got to meet the man, but he held this watch. He used it, probably every day. And when I wind this watch and listen to its heartbeat, I smile knowing that it's the exact same sound that he would have heard. I have a very diverse love of watch brands and styles. You might say it's eclectic, perhaps a bit like my personality. My dress sense, my hobbies, my interests, my taste in food and cars, they change often. I don't just enjoy one brand or style like chronographs or divers, I like them all. I'm really pleased to have experienced many different brands with many more still to try out. And that's why I love watches. It just seems like a never ending journey. I have a different watch to suit my mood, to suit the weather, different occasions, seasons. And every morning I enjoy the short process of deciding what watch to wear. It's not about the cost of a watch. It's more about the feeling that it evokes when I wear it. Honestly, a 100 pound Seiko can bring me as much happiness as my Patek Philippe or my Rolex or my Arlangenzen. Sometimes my friends chuckle when they see me wear my £10 Casio calculator watch or my £100 Citizen, uh, but I don't mind. Uh, being a child of the 80s, they remind me of when I was a kid. This Seiko was made in 1976. It's the year I was born. We're the same age. Uh, this is my birth year watch. And I just love it when people come to me to find a birth year watch for them or a loved one. It's a really enjoyable process. My fondness of new and vintage watches is absolutely equal. I love the cutting edge technology in today's watches and I really appreciate the old vintage movements too. This is from the 1950s. Sometimes at night if I have trouble sleeping, uh, thinking over the trials and tribulations of daily life, I rest my head against one of my watches, usually my, my grandfather's pocket watch, and I listen to it beating. If ever you have trouble sleeping, I highly recommend this. And I don't know if it's the rhythmic tick-tocking or the thoughts that are created in the depth of my mind, but it always helps me drift off. I'd love to start a bit of a watch movement, a movement that involves people passing a watch down to someone they care about and would treasure it forever, especially when you're not around, perhaps a work trip or uh, maybe something more permanent. That person knows that it is or was your watch. You wore it, you used it and it has your spirit within. Prestige watches came about because the boss, my wife, told me it was time to start reducing the size of my collection. So I turned my passion into a small business, a really enjoyable business that makes me happy every day and allows me to continue my quest to spread watch happiness. One day I hope Javier Mila will enjoy watches too. It would be nice if they got to appreciate and understand the joy that watches can bring and the powerful legacy that they can leave behind. Maybe one of them will carry on the business if I'm not around to do it myself. But right now, they prefer dinosaurs and dolls. <laughs>